Hello, welcome to the paper of the week. And we've got a fun one this week because pretty much every single person who goes to the gym takes this supplement. It's called protein powder. We all do it, we all take it. The big million dollar question is at what dose and when and all this sort of stuff. Well, I've got some news for you. This is a paper published in the Proceedings of Nutrition Society 2017, middle of last year. It's a fantastic paper on, of course, collagen protein because we know that's a superior type of protein and way for particularly muscle gain and fat loss. And in this paper, um, we, we found some wonderful results. And what we did was we took three groups of individuals, A, B, C group, we'll call them, and in the A group, they took 10 grams of collagen, and B group, they took 15 grams of collagen, and in the C group, they took 20 grams of collagen. And what they measured here was simply fat-free mass gaining and the fat mass. So the, the body is made up of either fat or not fat. The not fat part is either the bones and the liquid and the muscles and all that sort of stuff. The fat is obviously just fat. So fat-free mass is what is, is usually what you indicate is what your muscle is because over a short amount of time, bone doesn't change, etc. So what they found was they gave three different dosages to these individuals. And in the 10 gram group, the mean or average, um, there's about 37 people in this group, they took 10 grams of um, collagen a day. The average, uh, they, they put on two kilos of muscle and lost two kilos of fat. Their weight did not change. Now this is an interesting paper for two reasons. Firstly, if you took collagen at 10 grams a day and you didn't notice any uh, change to your weight, you'd be going, this is a waste of time, waste of money, I don't want to take this crap, blah, blah, blah. But as you can see, you put on muscle and you lose body fat. The second group, 33 people took 15, they put on 2.34 kilos of muscle and lost 2.25 kilos of fat. And the 20 gram group, 35 people in it, put on, on average, 2.4 kilos of muscle and lost 2.75 kilos of fat. So looking at that from a statistical point of view, and that was over 12 weeks. So look at that from a statistical point of view, what they found was that 15 was the optimal dose, which is exactly what you get out of our no way. So our, our no way dose matches what this study says. And this study is published last year. So interestingly, it, it, it actually showed what we do to improve body composition. So what's the take home message? Is that if you take the Body Balance No Way Protein at 15 grams per day, you over three months, you'd be likely to uh, gain over two kilos of muscle mass and lose over two kilos of fat mass. That's an average and that was done um, on untrained individuals. So it didn't, you know, it wasn't the fact that it worked out or anything like that. This was untrained individuals as the paper title says. I'm going to get that paper and send it through so you'll be able to have a look at it. It's a great paper because it's quite simple and it talks about that. So the authors conclude that, that taking 15 grams is recommended. Uh, Post-exercise seems to be what they recommend is the best time to take it. Of course, in this group they were untrained. So look, the, the, the good news is that we know this stuff works really well and we know it's uh, superior to whey. For many reasons, also you don't get bloated on this stuff. You know, the, the way it makes you feel, you know, crook in the guts quite often. So look, this is an interesting paper, and and I found it fascinating because it actually had hard data to it. It didn't just, you know, like your people look like you got bigger or your shirt was tighter. Actual physiological measurements of fat and muscle mass. All right, well that's it for today. Thank you very much for that, and have a great day.